What's going on, guys? Big sci-fi news. CBS is teaming up with Alex Kurtzman, one of the co-writers of the recent Star Trek films, to bring Star Trek back to television in 2017. What's it gonna be like? Who's the cast gonna be? We're gonna talk about that today. And we've got a couple of cool dudes to talk about it with. First, he's the critic at large at The Nerdist, our old friend Kyle Anderson. And you know him, he's a comedian and actor, hashtag Botanicus, Mike Carlson. Star Trek is coming back. I gotta ask, are you excited about this? Yeah, I think it's gonna be a lot of fun. I mean, it's been a while since there's, you know, been a Star Trek TV show, and the last one was uh, maybe not the best one. Star Trek is the best on TV. What Star Trek needs is an hour-long thing to just delve into politics, to get very heavy, to get way up its own ass. Like, that's what we love <laughs> about Star Trek. Yeah, to really explore the worlds and the science, this comes at a perfect time, I think. I'm kind of excited about it. Who do we want to see? There's gonna be new missions, new voyages. I wanna talk about who we'd like to see piloting a new craft. So who would you wanna see as the captain? I think we should get Viola Davis to do it, but she's a Vulcan. Okay. Because if you've watched uh, how, how to Get Away with Murder, she's super badass on that show. Yeah. She also almost kind of has a Vulcan haircut already. Pretty strong choice. Mike Carlson, who would you like to see captain a brand new ship? Well, I want Katherine Hahn to be the captain. Mm. Okay. Uh, and she's a comedic actress. She can be, she's in drama. She's in Crossing Jordan. And like, I want to see a captain who maybe is a little over the job. Yeah, space can like, play with your head. Space course. is, Mars is no place to raise a kid. It's lonely here in space. I was quoting Ground Control to Major Tom, I, by the way. I did get that. For those of you scoring at home. Yeah, I did understand that <laughs> reference. Well, I, I, I like that. <laughs> I wasn't. That's Rocket Man. Oh. Uh, wait, what am I, oh yeah. Rocket Man, <laughs> William Shatner, back to the conversation. I'm a Rocket Man, Rocket Man. Leave my mistake in the show because you brought it back nicely. Okay, so how about a first officer? I'm gonna go with Richard Madden, who used to be on Game of Thrones. Mm -hmm. I, I think he's a really good actor. He's kind of, he can play the young kind of, uh, he just got promoted maybe, and like this is the first time he's been the commander of a starship. Uh, who would you pick as a first officer? I'm thinking Giancarlo Esposito. He's the guy who like really like the prime directive. He's very intense about it. And then maybe Catherine Hahn's character a little bit more laissez-faire about some of that stuff. Wow. Um, yeah, he's he's fantastic. Uh, next, give us another member of your crew. Chief Medical Officer. Yes. I think it would be fun to do uh, Richard Jenkins. I want to go back to the DeForest Kelly way of doing it. He doesn't like anything that happens, but... Yeah, a little bit shaken up, yeah. not always together. Kind of, and, and a, like a melancholy guy, too. Like, really soulful, not like, just like a, you know, cold doctor Absolutely. who's like, yeah. For my medical officer, I'm going with Scott Porter. He's sort of like an eager guy. He's like a very, like, kind of earnest person, and like, he's going to probably, like, sort of butt heads. Like, he's going to sort of be the guy, maybe they pick on a little bit because he's so, like, so kind of, like, bright-eyed and, like, uh -huh. wants to do the right thing. Interesting choices here. You guys, you're, you really put some thought into this. I mean, just 23 Skidoo, a Star Trek cast. Mike, let's uh, start with you this time. Give us another member of your crew. My security chief is a robot character played by Justin Roiland of Rick and Morty oh. fame. He's a very unassuming robot. He's obviously got some sort of a weird voice, but the robot's very powerful. It can over, it can beat the crap out of people. Like it knows what to do. Gotcha. So it, it, the ro and the robot uh, that you're envisioning looks somewhat mild mannered. Yes. But it's capable of just opening up a, a can of space whoop ass whenever space need whoop be. Ass, yes. Space whoop ass. Yes. Uh, I went a little more traditional with my uh, security chief. I yeah. Dave Bautista, but as a Gorn. Uh, the Gorn, wow. of course, from the episode uh, Arena. We already have proven that he can play an alien. Yep, absolutely. And, and he's not opposed to wearing a crap load of makeup on his face, so. You guys are really bringing the heat. Okay, Chief Engineer. I picked a another actor who got killed off of a, a popular TV show. Uh -huh. uh, Rick Cosnett, he was on the first season of uh, The Flash. Yes. And he played Eddie Thawne. I thought he was really great on that, and I think uh, if you give him a robotic arm, uh, that he has all the, like, you know, it's like a Swiss Army knife arm. Swiss, Swiss. arm e, you, got you it. get it. Okay, uh, Chief Engineer for you, Mike Carlson. Uh, I'm gonna go. He's gonna be an alien, uh, but he's one of my favorite actors of all time, Wallace Shawn. Oh, Princess yeah. Bride. He's Rex in Toy Story. He's got the greatest voice in the universe. He'll be some sort of a blue alien, and he'll be very flustered all the time. He's an older gentleman, uh, and like things will be blowing up, and he will just be freaking out, and he'll have that amazing voice we all love. Let's let's pick our ultimate crew out of your choices. Captain, Viola Davis versus Katherine Hahn. 
Well, I mean, they're they're completely different uh, styles. I think of yeah. captaining. I think both could could work. Mm -hmm. um, that's tough. That's that's real tough. You know what? Let's go, Catherine Hahn. Fully supported. It's a great great choice. First officer Richard Madden versus Giancarlo Esposito. So, what, how do you envision uh, Giancarlo Esposito? He's very much like the straight man in the relationship in a way like oh you need to follow the prime directive we need to not interfere in this and she's like trying to get maybe a shortcut and he's the one he's the uptight one how do, how do you envision uh richard madden i think uh, opposite katherine hahn then he could be the one who is sort of going way off book he's he's really hot-headed he's trying to you know make a name for himself and that kind of brings her back to be like all right i, I can't be over this quite yet i have to be the voice of reason even though i think most of what we're doing is uh, not great. It, it's a toughie, but I feel like Esposito would be the better foil. I think that's probably true. Carlson, it's Han and Esposito. Chief Medical Officer Richard Jenkins versus Scott Porter. Well, I mean, he we want someone to be sort of the a complete optimist, somebody to be the, like who can see all of this, all of these worlds through like fresh eyes. Where, where do you come down on it, Richard Jenkins? Yeah, I think uh, world weary, you know, soulful sort of. Uh, um, He's seen too much war. He, he doesn't want to do it anymore. You know what? I love Richard Jenkins as an actor so much. And, you know, Scott Porter, I like him, but I think I got to go Jenkins on this one. I feel like he is the extreme version of Catherine Hahn's yeah. character. Chief Security Officer Justin Roiland versus Dave Batista. So, again, I'm just subverting expectations and going with a guy who's very unassuming. But since he's an android, um, he can do a lot of crazy things. And... Dave Batista. You need somebody who's super um, intimidating if you're yeah. gonna scare everybody off. I'm not gonna lie, I'm in the bag for Dave Batista. I, lo I love the guy, I'd love to see him in that role. That would rule my world to have Dave Batista there. Bam, Dave Batista, our chief security officer. Down to our last one, our chief engineer. Talk to me about Wallace Shawn. I mean, put the picture of him up and tell me that's not a good idea. Rick Cosnett? I think Rick Cosnett's a really good actor, and I think it'd be an interesting choice, but I actually think Wallace Shawn in blue makeup is a better choice, so I, I changed my vote entirely. Wallace, Wallace Shawn, Shawn with a Swiss Army knife arm. That's tremendous. That's perfect. Boom. Tremendous. Could not be more perfect. Yeah? Sure. Okay. But now, we gotta name this show. So we put the cast together. What does this cast do specifically? Is this sort of a more of a battleship? Maybe this is a, a heavy artillery type of ship, something that really gets to mix it up. So. Yeah, Star Trek Torpedo Junction. Defender, they could be the defending. Defender, oh, Star Trek Defender. I think it's great, I think it paints a picture. Yep, very yeah. evocative. Well guys, there you have it. Presenting the crew of Star Trek Defender. Coming, maybe never, but wouldn't it be awesome? Hey, what would your ideal Star Trek Starship crew be? Let us know in the comments section below the best answers. We are going to send you a Screen Junkies t-shirt. And tell us what the name of your show would be as well. I want to thank my awesome crew right here. Kyle Anderson, check him out on The Nerdist. Mike Carlson, hashtag Botanicus. I'm Hal Rudnick. Thanks for watching. Hit me up on Twitter. Bye-bye. Renee Zellweger and Matthew McConaughey, two well-respected actors who I'm sure are thrilled that this footage will exist forever.